What is going on, you guys? Cameron here with another video. So, um, I'm working on a big project, and I finally decided to uh, download and install the uh, Monkey Bread software plugin. Everyone always talks about it, how great it is, and um, I was really struggling finding some stuff that I needed. Um, so, what's really cool about this plugin is it allows you to not only find stuff within your um, within your actual database here. So if you do um, like Command F on this, oh, I'm sorry, Command F, you can see how this uh, field pops up, and you can search for a field in this. Um, that's between that and relationships. So you can search down here for a specific table, and it will take you exactly to where that one is, which is pretty cool. Uh, the one that I'm using right now, which is really cool, is this um, search and replace command. So it took me a little while to figure out how to even start using these, um, basically these commands that they have built. So the way that the monkey bread software works is that, I'm going to open my scripts up. What you do is, in my testing scripts here, I did an... Uh, MBS just stands for monkey bread software. So to start using this command to do search and replace, um, all I had to do was create a variable. I gave it a unique variable, it doesn't matter. And then in the value of that variable, I just paste the value that's on their website. So this right here, this, uh, this command syntax coloring dot add text menu command um, this is a part of a lot of different things that you can do and it says like add a greeting command or rename command for variable add an insert loop command so what I wanted was a search and replace command so you just copy this and I didn't mean to go over there but you just copy that and then you input that into the variable uh, calculation and you can see since the plugin is already installed uh, within my FileMaker plugins, it knows based off of the uh, the monkey bread uh, variables and uh, command lines that they already have built in the pr uh, the plugin. So then all you got to do is you create this little variable here, and then you just um, you just run it. And as soon as you run it, it actually updates everything. I'm going to revert all here. It updates so that when you are, so I'm going to go to a script here, and I'll probably just remove everything I just did. Actually, no, everything's still pretty good. So I'm going to demonstrate how this actually works now. So if you actually select one of these, or you can select multiples, and based off your selection, if you right click, you now have a command in the menu that says search and replace. So what I'm going to do is most of these script triggers here are similar. They just change by uh, the value. So I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to rename this. So the next value that I'm working on is called starter value. So I'm going to do total starter value script trigger. So now in this, I'm going to jump to another screen over here. I need a different value. So I'm going to do starter field now. Copy that. Okay, so within this script, I'm going to change. So instead of total value, we're going to do total starter. This doesn't really matter. I'm just going with the flow so I get this done right the first time. So now that I have a variable that I want, I need to change all of the variables from the past script to the new variable that I have here. So instead of going, it's not that it's a lot of work, but when you're doing it, I've already done it four times now, it saves a lot of time from going in here, changing this, copy and pasting. But imagine if you had to do that, if you had to change multiple variables throughout an entire script. 
So all I got to do now, it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. I like it. So I'm going to select all of these because I need to change the values of all of these. So now I'm going to search and replace. The downside with this, it doesn't allow you to paste in here. So you have to actually type in what you're looking for. I don't know why it's like that. And then you got to just make sure that you use the new variable that I would like. So then I'm going to do total. So then it's going to replace all these. The downside for this was the last, this line right here, line 19 was the last one I selected. It's going to paste the new commands right under line 19. It's not going to change these. You have to delete those after. So I'm going to click replace. So it just now recreated those new ones for me. So now I know this one goes up here. I know this one goes up here. And all I got to do is delete the old ones. Simple as that. So that just did quite a bit of work for me. And you don't have to select all of them. So what you could do is select this one and search and replace just this one right here. And we're going to say we're going to change total starter to total starter two and just click replace and it goes right underneath that one you just delete that one so you don't have to select all of them if you do select all of them it's going to paste it um below the last one that you selected that's the only downside with this um i really like it i couldn't find any videos on it i couldn't find any videos showing me even how to use one of their uh their uh plugins like this i mean it's not the really it's not the plugin it's just like a uh like a script step of monkey bread software which is really cool so that's how um i figured out how to take this and make it actually do something and work so i really enjoy it it's fun it's easy um so yeah i hope anyone and everyone enjoys this little video uh leave a like comment and subscribe if you really like these videos i'm going to do more of these as challenges come along the way thank you guys so much peace out